episode, Topaz Studio 2, but I'm really excited today because we're starting to look at the stylistic filters inside of Topaz Studio 2. And the first one to start us off is the abstraction filter, one of my all-time favorites. It's been around with Topaz since the beginning of their company, I believe, and it's a really good one. So let's get started. We're going to work on three images today. We're, look, we're going to work on this wolf right here. We're going to work on this nice little street scene with these two cats. And we're going to look at this really cool snow train scene, which this one comes out really nice in. Let, let me go back to the wolf here real quick. This is what we're starting out with, and this is what we're going to end up with, something like this. All right, so that's the wolf. So there's the before and there's the after. Gives it kind of a painterly look. Uh, but it simplifies the image and it's really cool. I love this filter. Let's go to the cat. We're starting off with this street scene of the cat. Now let's take a look here. Here's what we're gonna end up with. This nice painterly type image. And I really like that. I think that turned out really nice. And let's look at our last image. I'm really excited about this one. This one turned out super nice. And I wanted to show you guys different looks on different images so, so you could really see how this abstraction filter works. So let's take a look at this one. So here's the before and here's what we're going to end up with. Isn't that cool? I think this one turned out really nice. So let's get started here. So let's go back to the wolf right here. Uh, let's duplicate our background layer. But before I do that, let me shut off that layer. So we're going to work on this layer here. I'm going to duplicate it. Command J. And that would be Control J and a PC. So let's come up to, you know, the drill up here to filter down to Topaz Studio and Studio 2. And we launch Topaz Studio 2. And here we go. So we come up to Add Filter. And the exciting part, we come down to Stylistic. Inside of here, we got really cool filters. Abstraction, AI Remix, Digital Frame, Edges, Glow, Impression, Radiance, Smudge, and Texture. These are wild filters, really cool creative filters. This is where you have all the fun, I believe, inside of Topaz Studio 2. So let's start with Abstraction. Let's give it a click. And of course, you know, we have the Opacity, the Blend Modes, the Presets. This icon you can click on after you've made some adjustments and you say, I like that, I want to keep that. You can save that as a preset by clicking on here and giving it a name. And this trash can will delete any presets that you no longer want. All right, so let's start off with color space. So we have RGB and YUV, and you'll see how these work here in a second. But there's only one, two, three, four, five sliders. So we have a simplify size, we have a feature boost, we have a detail strength, a detail boost, and a detail radius. All right, so let's take a look here. First off, let's pull the fun slider, the simplify size. We'll move it to the right and watch what happens to the image as I start to move it to the right. The image starts to get simplified. You see that? And the more I pull it, it takes a little bit of time because it's really doing a lot in the background here. So you can make it very simplified. Drag that slider the whole way up and you can see, look, the eye goes away. So that's obviously too much. But Again, do not be afraid to pull these sliders. You're never going to know how this stuff works if you don't pull the sliders. And you can just click on this slider here anywhere and just pull it back. So let's find a spot that we kind of like. Now that's a little bit too much for me. I'm going to pull it back a little bit more. That's looking pretty good. Maybe right around in there. Now notice up in here, you see these little colors in here. You may like that, but if you say, you know what, I don't want these little tints of colors in here. So if you come to this YUV color space and give it a click, those go away. So remember that one. That's very important. You're going to use that a lot. Okay, so I'm going to leave it in the YUV position. Okay, so we have the simplify size. Now let's see what the feature boost does. Let's start to pull this to the right. And it'll start to boost the features. You see that? And you can get it looking really crazy looking. And it really depends what kind of look you're looking for. Now obviously for me that's too much here. So let me drag it the whole way off. And let me just pull it up a little bit. Sometimes I'd like to add just a little bit of feature boost. Not much, you know, like 0.02, and I think that looks good. Let's click in the center of the picture. Here's the before, and there's the after. Pretty cool. Now, let's go to the detail. Oh, oh, we just did the feature boost, sorry. Detail strength. Now, this will pull some details back into your image. I know we simplified it, but sometimes it's nice to add a little bit of detail back in. So, let's see. See what that did? It adds a little bit of detail. Let me pull it up some more so you can really see what it's doing. See how the details are starting to come back in? But it still has that simplified look, and I actually think that looks pretty nice right there. So let me just pull this back a little bit more. 
Now, there is a little bit of color in here. Let's try something. Let's come to the blend mode and come down to luminosity and see if that goes away. I think it does. Let's click on that. Yeah, that color left in there. So remember, blend modes can really be your friend. So I'm going to leave that uh, in luminosity blend mode. So remember that. if there, Sometimes there's some color shifts and things that are happening. That'll fix it. And we've gone over that in the past. And uh, the last thing is the detail radius. And this... This determines how much details are going to pop, like larger details will come out if you move this more to the right. Okay, and you can see, so we can bring up a lot more of those details. And that actually looks pretty cool. I kind of actually like that. I'm going to leave that up. So let's click in the center. Here's the before and here's the after. Now see the eyes right here? What if you said, you know what, I want a little bit more detail in those eyes. So you can come up to your friend, the layer mask, give that a click. And let's come to our brush tool and... I'm going to take this transparency and move it up. You know, I don't want it totally black, so I don't want to remove all the Simplify, but I want to remove some of it. So I'm just going to pull it up to around here. I'm just going to take a guess that that's going to be good. And let's adjust our radius size to make that smaller, so I don't want to paint over too much of this area here. But let me just paint over the eye here. And Edge Aware is on. See how that brings back a little bit of that eye detail. That looks pretty good. If you want more detail, just move this transparency slider more to the left to make that darker. And then just paint again right in there. Yeah, a little more details come back in. Because, you know, those eyes are really cool. So I like that. So there's our first image. Now, when you're done, just come up here to click Accept. And you're right back into Photoshop. Now, I'm really liking the way this image looks, but you know what? One thing I don't like is what the Simplify did to this background, especially since I pulled those details up. I like what the details did to the wolf, but I don't like the background here because let me click this uh, eyeball here so we can see the original. See the background's a little bit smoother back there. Okay, and there is the before and the after. So what I'm going to do in Photoshop here is come and get a layer mask. All right, I'm going to get a paintbrush. I'm going to use the shortcut of B to get the paintbrush and right now I'm in black if you were if this swatch was white you would, could just click X and you could swap those two swatches so I want black so I want to remove this my opacity is 100 at 100% and my flow is at 100% so I'm just going to paint that off of there just come down here do a quick paint job here get rid of that extra detail in there and you can see my layer mask over here has has black paint. If I option click that layer mask, you can see what I painted. Look, and I missed a couple spots. It's always good to do the option click just to see if you missed anything. So right there, option click it again, and we're back to the image. So got rid of some of that, um, you know, that extra detail in the background. If you hold the shift key and click on your layer mask, you can disable layer mask. See that there's a before, there's the before and there's the after. So I like that. Brings more attention to this wolf. All right, now on to the next image. Now we go on to our cat. I just thought this image would look really nice simplified. So let's uh, duplicate our background layer. Command J, Control J, PC. And then we go up to Filter. And let's come down to Topaz Studio and Topaz Studio 2. Launching so Topaz Studio 2. Not Snowpaz Studio 2, but Topaz Studio 2. Up to Add Filter, down to Abstraction. I already showed you how these sliders work, so let's get right to work here. Let's take our Simplify size and start to move it to the right and simplify this image. Now I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to move this a little bit too far. See right here in this between this cat's legs, I got this weird little thing. And you'll see that in trees and things sometimes. So if you want to get rid of that, just bump back the Simplify size till that goes away, like right there little tip that that'll happen and it'll kind of bug you sometimes sometimes you want it for the effect but other times you don't so right there looks really good now let's take the feature boost and start to move it up and again play with this because you know you might say wow that looks really cool i love this green and red and i may say oh, i don't like it and i don't like it so i don't like it so look i'm going to hit this little yuv color space button right here and it's out of there isn't that cool I actually like this. This is more abstract, but it might be a little too much for my taste right at this moment. Tomorrow may be different, but let me just pull the feature boost back a little bit. I just want a little bit of feature boost in there. 
Maybe something like that. I like that. That looks pretty nice. Now let's go to our detail strength. Let's see if this does anything for us. And I just hit all the sliders because you never know what they're going to do. Well, you kind of know because you know you're going to pop, pop detail, but you don't know what the look's going to look like until you actually play with it. So I'm going to do this because I like some of these extra details that are popping out here, like up in here in these doorways and things like this. I like these silhouetted looking cats look really nice. All their details are pretty much drained, and I like that. And let's check our detail boost and move it up and see what it does. Okay, it's just making it a little more uh, granular, a little more gritty. Not really liking that so much, so I'm going to pull that back. Now, you can double-click detail boost and get it back to zero here, the default setting. And there it is. Now, let's click in the center here, before and after before and after and I like it that one's done let's come up to accept click accept and we'll go right back into Photoshop so let's go to layer one copy two right here give that a click there's our before and there's our after I like it very nice all right on to the next image our final image I love this one this is my favorite this train right here now so what I'm going to do is, of course, duplicate my background layer. Command J Mac, Control J PC, because we don't want to work in a background layer. We want to work as non-destructively as we can. So come up to Filter, you know, Topaz Studio, Topaz Studio 2. We launch. We look at this beautiful flower. It's gone. Now we're into our image. Up to Add Filter, down to our Creative Toy box here. Come to Abstraction. Give it a click. Again, simplify size. Let's start to move it to the right. Oh, isn't that so beautiful? Some images just really lend themselves to, to uh, abstraction. And this, honestly, is one of those images. Now, as I keep pulling this up, you notice like, like these parts of the train start to disappear, like the lights and things like that. You know, But you might want something like this for some reason or something. Um, and there's all kind of creative things I'm going to get into later where we're mixing filters together and doing all kind of cool stuff. And sometimes we're going to do things like this and then we're going to add more details back through layer masking and different things. So, but let's just pull this back to a nice little spot. I just want to start seeing some of these um, windows and things start to come back a little bit, like maybe right around there. And I'm, there's numbers on this train and I want those numbers to pop through. They're starting to pop through right there. And actually, I like that look right there. Now, let's do something. Let's come up to the layer mask here and get a brush. And this time, I'm going to leave the transparency on black because what I want to do is, first, let me take my radius down. And what I want to do is I want these numbers. See how these numbers, 9, 9, they kind of filled in a little bit here and you can't see them real clear. So I'm just going to paint over these numbers and... Oh, I missed the little one there. Do I want that one in there? Yeah. So those numbers pop a little bit. And what if I wanted these lights to come a little more here? Let's click those there. Ah, that looks kind of neat. So that's pretty cool. So to get back to our adjustments, we need to come back and click on this abstraction layer. And let's see if we want to play with the feature boost. Because again, I like to play with them. And we get that ugly, you know, colors in there. We can hit the YUV and see what it looks like when they're gone. And they do go away. So, again, remember that one. Let's go back to RGB because I don't think I'm going to do much with Feature Boost on this image because I like it just pretty much simplified just the way it was. I think, I think that really looks awesome. And let's try Detail Strength. Let's just pull it up a little bit so we can let some details in. I mean, I might. I like what's happening on the train here. That looks pretty cool. I actually do like a little bit of detail strength. Let's try the um, the uh, detail boost a little bit here. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's try the detail radius. Bring it up a little bit. Not a whole lot happening there. But I'm like, I think it looks really cool through here. That little extra detail in there looks really nice. And I'm liking it. I think we're nice. So let's click on the image here in the center or anywhere here. Just give it a left, left click of the mouse and before and after. I like it. And let's just hit accept. 
We're back in Photoshop. Layer one, copy two here. Let's click the eyeball. There's the before and there's the after. Well, there was the abstraction filter. I hope you liked this one. I really enjoyed this uh, episode today. If you like this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Click that thumbs up button, please. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps me. And also, um, if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please do so and click that bell notification icon. That way you'll be informed of all the new videos that I'm putting out. Thanks again for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you next time.